Welcome back, everybody, to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We're going to pick up right where we left off in the last episode. It's been a couple days for me um, since I last played. And uh, continue on in this adventure and have fun. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, my goodness. We have to wait for the million-year load screen again. Well, maybe not a million years. Okay, so last we left off, we just had kind of learned uh, how to do the wall walk thing, Madoodle. Um, if we could get over there, we could probably wall walk up to that thing. So we we're going to try that, but uh, we ran out of time. So let's go ahead and do that now. And notice when he's running along the wall. He'll, uh, he starts to, to drop off after, as you go around, which of course makes sense. So we have to kind of time this just right. There we go. Look at that. Look at us and our bad self. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Frustration. A bag left by someone who came here from Coruscant. They were strangely frustrated with the Jedi Council for some reason. Okay. Well, that's strange. Strange indeed. Okay, so, uh, we gotta figure out where to go. I think we have to go back out this way. Uh, we got one of those toad thingamadoodles down there again. Bago. Bago something somethings. But now we can get around over here. Yeah. Okay, oh, we gotta, okay, so we gotta run on this one now. There we go. Alright. And we have a crate. Come back here. So what was in there? New lightsaber switch acquired. Valor and Wisdom 2. Is that um Is that a functional thing or is it just um for like looks and stuff, I wonder. We'll have to check that out the next time we go to the the bench. We just jump down here, I guess so. Oh. Shortcut unlocked. Nice. Great divide. And there's another force echo thing. Oh no, that's a that's a uh, meditation point, which we will actually use. Is there anything in here? Hmm. Okay. Wonder what that means. Press R to rest. I didn't mean to press that button. What do we, what do we took? This, uh, okay, we have more force. Gotcha. Okay. Um, what? I'm thinking what I might want to do is map that force, uh, at least the, the first one, to my other thumb button on my mouse. I know we're going to get more force skills later, so at that point, you know, we'll have to kind of figure out which ones are our most important one. And we'll have a push and a pull, too. But, yeah, let's, um, can I, can I do this? Hold new button to remap. Oh, you know what? That has to be on a controller. Okay. There we go. Okay. And if we end up using push or pull... You know more often than we we can you know replace those out. But for now, that's the only one I have now anyway. Okay. <laughs> he went underground. Oh, have we already been here? I guess we have.
So we probably want to take that zip line. Okay, let's look at our map. I'm a little, a little confused about where we are. Oh, okay. We want to go up from here, not down. Yeah, down would take us back to where that elevator was. Gotcha. Okay. Those statue things are cool looking. All right, we got a wall here. Oh my goodness, we got to run across that. Yowzers. Okay. Okay. We got this. Okay, here we go. We got this. There we go. Okay. Racy there. Oh, it's on. <laughs> We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. Okay, let's do another save point before we go in here. All right, before we go in, let's just look around a bit. Offerings. These relics contain materials that aren't native to Bagano. Their fragile structure indicates they were purely decorative, potentially objects of religious significance. It's possible that they were carried here as a form of pilgrimage. Um, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything back that way. What happens if we're going through this side? Nothing. <laughs> Alright, we got another thing to scan here. Inscriptions. The vault is built out of carnite, a hard stone rich in minerals. Its inner walls are decorated with, with metallic plating and inscriptions. The glyphs don't return results in any galactic database suggesting the language has been lost to time. Cool. Alright, let's head on in. The vault. This structure has been here for centuries. It appears the only way to open the vault open the vault is by using the force. Okay. Oh, I can't see. It's like seriously dark in here. Amazing. Huh. This looks a lot bigger on the inside. <laughs> Alright, let's look around. the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. 
The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Cool. <laughs> I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I've been alone for while now without any purpose just hiding there's no way to live not for a jedi or a droid maybe seer was right maybe we're done hiding hey you want to meet some uh Friends of mine. Okay. Destination unlocked. Zepho. So I guess... I guess we have to come back here at a later point in time after we've done another test uh, at the new... at that new world. Uh, my hi, my friend, my name is Jedi Master Eno Cordova. The Bogano Vault, constructed by the Zepho mill millennia ago, granted me a vision of the Jedi's doom. To preserve the order, I've hidden a holocron detail in the name. Oh, that's what he already told us, so that's just a, a repeat. Yeah, we have to seek out the tombs of three great Zepho sages. BD1 will aid you on your journey. Okay. All right, well, I guess, uh, I guess we're done here for now. So let's head on back. And we better do another save here, because you never know what's going to happen. So we have one point, though. I mean, uh, we still do not have any points. Okay, so... Let's see here. Looks like we have to go back to the ship, but uh, we're going to stop off along the way and uh, pay... I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Play uh, Ogdo Bogdo or whatever his name is. Another visit. Um, yeah, let's go. Oh, shit. can kind of learn this guy's moves a little more that might help us with the boss fight ow that didn't work so well I 
need help. We're supposed to be able to cut his tongue off. Maybe we just... Maybe we have to do that multiple times. He seems to have pretty much the same moves as the boss does. Oh, shit. <laughs> He doesn't give us a lot of time to to attack him after he does like his big moves. Ah, shit! Yeah, <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention. All right, let's try this again. This is actually good practice for us, anyways, because of course uh, Ogdo is going to be a lot tougher than this guy. Not that this guy's easy to easy to kill, though, man. He's tough too. Uh, but I just need to pay a little more attention to the movements and all that. So let's do this again. I should probably not use the force on him until he tries to do the tongue thing. Okay. Didn't quite time that right. If I get far away from him, I think... Does that cause him to do the tongue thing? There we go. We got a couple of good hits off on him in that time. We didn't hit his tongue, but... BD1, stem. Okay. Ah, shit! I tried to force him. I need one. I need to try and, uh, also parry him, too. We're out of stims. Ah, I missed the tongue. Shit! <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, this is hard. Okay, we'll get him this time. We'll get him this time. I should probably stop talking and just really focus too, because so that way I can really concentrate on what's what's happening here. that time.
missed him. We almost got him. Okay. All right. So, part of um, part of uh, what I wasn't doing before that I did this time was parrying. So we need to do that more. Because uh, that gives us buys us an extra moment or two to get a, one or two shots off on him before we have to get away. Because um, before, when I wasn't doing that, I was you know when I was getting shots off on him, he was getting shots off on me too. Okay, that's good. We we're getting better. We're getting better. That's the important thing. So we're supposed to have a shortcut, right? Wait, did we come? I don't think we came this way before. Okay, that's a wall. Oh yeah, we did come up this way. Yeah, we did. Okay. I still haven't figured out how to get... How to get... Down on these things. Okay, I guess you have to turn around and then hit E really quick. Abandoned workshop. Hey. This door, something we can open now? Oh, look at that. My friend. It appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. <laughs> Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Hmm. A place called Dathomir. Discovering Dathomir. My friend, I recently discovered it. it, it, it. Okay, yep, yeah, that's the same thing you just told us. Okay. Shortcut unlocked. Don't f fall behind, BD one. Okay. Uh, we'll take our. Rest. Nope, hit the wrong button again. Okay, whereabouts are we at now? Um, Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Oh, right. This is the way we need to go. Okay. Whoa, shit. You know, there's a... There was another one of those... Force echo things over there. Is that a wall we can do a wall run on? I don't think it is. I wonder if... we get up there? Boy, I don't know. That seems like an awful high jump. And if we don't make it, <laughs> we fall all the way down. Um, there's got to be a reason why that pole's there. pole is there, though. And then there's also that crane thing in Madoodle, too. All right, let's go back for a second. BD one. What's down here? Huh. 
I don't know. Does this do anything? Okay, let's go back up this way and walk around over here. Oh. Yeah, we were we were down there before, weren't we? But that other area is back over <clears throat> back over that way, so Yeah, I don't know. Not sure how we would get over there. I don't think we can get up here. There's no way to get up there. Okay, well, um... Was... I wonder... Was there a way to get in through here? Can't Doors through. locked from the other side, okay. I don't see a way up there from this side. Oh, 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 okay. Here. This is new. I don't think we went this way before. Oh, no, it isn't. That's just the way back to the ship. Oh, hi there. There's there's boss guy down there. That takes us to a wall run area. That just goes back to the ship too. So that must that just must have been a uh, a shortcut or something. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go see if we can take out uh, Og Ogdo Bogdo. Ogdo Bogdo. What the hell's his name? Databank. Bogano. No, that's the wrong. Um, I don't know how do we how do we get back to Ogdo Bogdo. It'd be would it be tactical guide? Yeah, Ogdo Bogdo. That's his name. Okay. All right. So. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is we could try to to jump up there, but I don't think we can make that. It's almost like that's how you get back down once you figure out how to get over there. All right, well, let's go back this way. I thought I turned that switch off in there. There is a thing right there. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I just don't see how to get up there. Okay, well, let's not worry about it, I guess. Hmm, I wonder what's down that way. Whoa! All right, let's try this bastard again. <laughs> well, that didn't go so well. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't feel like I was, uh, I could get in, into, into position to be in control of that, but let's try it again. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> We're gonna, I've been uh, actually trying to attack him from the top this time, because uh, then I can get my life back, but most of the time I do this, I also take damage too. Okay, so that, that was actually, actually went well. So we can get back here. See, we actually, we actually put the hurt on him pretty good. Damn, that was good. Okay, so. Um, let's just, uh, let's just be as patient as we can. We should turn around and go the other way. Let's let him get back down there. The thing about this guy is getting close to him is what? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, how did his health come back? Oh, that's hacks, man. How does his health come back? I don't, I don't understand. Maybe if you hide out in here, it comes back? I don't know. Ah, now we gotta do the, the full meal deal here. Okay. Whew, right, forgot him. Man, oh man, you guys. Pretty brave. I gotta tell you something. That was a hard fight. Um, it took me several attempts, and obviously I didn't put all those attempts on the recording uh, to kill this guy. <clears throat> Whew, I'll tell you what. That was nuts, man. The thing that was the most frustrating about this fight is not the fight itself so much, but the fact that the damn load screen is just totally like random on how long it takes to reload sometimes it would reload me like within like you know five to seven seconds sometimes it would take up to 45 seconds i even timed it with my iphone it was like so frustrating Whew. anyway we got him we got him so uh just so you know with this boss you can parry him i wasn't doing that at first until i kind of i finally figured out that i could do that now that, that's really was the key you know, for me finally being able to defeat him. I also found myself, you know, often jumping instead of dodging, uh, you know, and that was just me, you know, kind of training my, my fingers on the keyboard too, because I'm doing this on a keyboard and a mouse, not a controller. So anyway, uh, we did it, and my goodness, that was a hard fight. But we got it done. All right, let's see what this is all about. Where Boggling was killed. Is it trying to defend its family? Collect two more to increase maximum life. I thought we already... 
got one of those. Boggling corpse. This boggling fought back against an Ogdo, desperately trying to protect its family. Hmm. I thought we already got one of those life force thingamadoodles. S comp link must be repaired to operate this device. Oh. Okay. Well, apparently we haven't, so let's go back and uh, get that. We did, but we must have maybe what we must have reloaded and then I didn't didn't go back and get it after reloading. That's probably what happened. But actually before we do that, we are going to go save <laughs> after that fight. We don't want to risk not being able to do it again. Oh, we got a skill point too. Nice. Okay. Alright, so what do we want to put this guy in? Empowered slow. Holding slow allows Cal to slow his target for a longer duration. Okay. Uh, dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. And this just gives us more health. Um, let's let's just keep going with the force stuff. I mean, I'll I'll probably do some of the others too, but oh yeah, that does slow him for a long time. My goodness, that's gonna come in handy. Okay, good. Cool. All right, let's just um, let's go back and get that other life essence thingamadoodle. So let's see, the way we did that before, I think we had to slow those blades and then um, get across over there. And we turn these this off too. Oh, it is, what? I don't see it over here. This is where we got it the first time. We should have we should have had two out of three out of that, but I only got the one. Unless I'm confused about something else, I don't know. Well that sucks. No, don't turn that damn thing back on. <laughs> I did that last time too. Well, you know, the other thing too is we never really figured out how to get get up there, because there's like a chest or something up there. I mean, we can come up this way, but it doesn't let you, like, jump over that way. I don't see a wall run option here either. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go back then. Okay, guys. Well, um, we're about out of time, but you know what? We might as well... Now, let's go ahead and just uh, wrap it up here. I'm going to save one more time, and then we'll start the next episode by heading back to the ship and continuing uh, the story. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.